Hello and welcome, my name is Tom and today I would like to show you how to create quick start package from Joomla. To do so we need to have few things done, maybe some introduction I am running on my local host, this is a development environment and I'm running on the Apache under the Ubuntu. What we need to do, we need to have of course the Apache installed and we should have the PHP admin and this is the website which we are going to create quick start for. I would like everything what is in here to be included in my quick start. It means just modules, settings, just everything which will be easy to recreate later on. To do so we need to download fresh Joomla because what we need is installation. We need to go to our server root, which as I said is located file system var www and uh, demo qs. I'm going to copy it and I paste on my desktop. Right. It will take some time. What we need to do, we need to just get inside and delete configuration file because definitely we don't want to have it. It will be created during the, our fresh installation. Just move to rubbish bin. Yep. And installation directory from Joomla. But I don't want to move, I want to just copy it. Right. This is what we've got now. In installation directory we've got the SQL, MySQL. This is the place where our sample data going to be placed. Now we need to get to our website, log into the backend and then check the database name. This is under global configuration. We've got the database name and database type. Joomla's got a few types. You it can be MySQL, MySQL little, but this is MySQL demo QS1. We will need it to find the database when we log in to PHP my admin. As you can see, I've got few, and I definitely need to get to that database. I've got to list all the tables. I got to select export and the custom. All tables selected. Save out to five, which is good. Format the SQL and dump tab. It's got to be structure and data, and object creation. Add drop table, and this is give it a go and save. Right? It's on my desktop. I would like to just rename it to give just sample data QS means for the quick start. Good. We need to do something more. Open the text editor and we just need to delete the piece of thing and the prefix. We need to get rid of this prefix. Just copy. Search and replace and we've got to replace it with the hash double score replace or let's see if this is done so far so good save it now everything is done we can use it but there's another thing what i would like to show you we need to get to the hash double score users find it because this is where insert into the users goes ID name username email password and because we just exported all the database all the details about the users are there and I would like to keep that user TK is the user because uh, the user is the author of um, in the cage to 
uh, components, especially user block, and I would like to show the user, user's block on my demo site, which means it has to exist, but other user, which is super user, dodgy admin, should be deleted. You can't, well, you shouldn't keep it because it creates like kind of backdoors. But for this demo, I would like to just leave it as is. Show you later why. Okay, copy. Mm, right, installation, SQL, MySQL, paste. So far so good. Could close it. I would like to rename it because I'm not sure if I don't have such file in my server root directory. File system var www. Yeah, I got it here. The rubbish bin. A paste. I've got lots of things. Words. Yeah. <sighs> Pretty loaded. Lots of different Joomla installation, a few developers and few WordPress. But as I said, this is the development environment. And I would like to point to something because we work on our desktop when we just go to the properties, check for the permissions. We've got that I am the owner, I am the group master, and basically web server does not have access to this file. We need to get something which is should be readable accessible by www data, which is the web server. But because I would like to show you something more, I will decide to keep myself as the owner of the all these files and give the change the group from myself to web server. This is what I do. group change it and we need to have permission for the writing to the for the group okay and would be this is like if we go here now and check as you can see the permission is still it's it's me and the group is www data this is Definitely, it's got to be owner WW data, which when you are going to work on the real website outside the live the hosting. But for the development environment, I would like to keep it this way because I will going to show you something more later on. Uh, okay, yep. And the database is going to be crew start one. Yep, done. It's of course close terminal. Now, I think we are ready to give it a go. Uh, my web server. QS2. Uh, underscore and we are here installation we need to find some English United Kingdom side name test QS2 description email Admin, let's use the admin and password. Another password. Mm, side of like no, go. MySQL username, in my case it's root, my password. Database name, all oh, a good question, database name. I 
don't have book memory for the names. Singles demo QS one mm, just in case it's removed. At this point we've got thing like this sample data QS. It will work, but as you can see, it doesn't look good, very unprofessional. If you are doing this for yourself, it's perfectly all right because you know what you are doing. But for the customer, oh God, it's not good at all. I will show you how to fix it in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.